gentlemen, good morning. Welcome back to Dolany TV, and we just quickly have to get this one under the wire with uh, about 12 minutes to the start of the shift, in which I have to tell you kind of some of my thoughts on what happened yesterday. The Oilers had quite a busy day, obviously, announcing some things, and uh, announcing that they had cut Jake Vertanen from the NHL main camp roster, released him from his PTO. He's now free to go do his own thing wherever else he wants to go do his thing. So for the Oilers, it's one of those days now. Today you get into it and you are officially on the clock. Not necessarily to be playing games yourself, but the NHL season has opened up over in Europe today. And that will mean, well, we are less than five, well, five days, five days, less than five days, somewhere in there, five days away from the Edmonton Oilers home opener. Things, of course, in the regular season NHL North American calendar get underway nice and early on uh, Tuesday. Oh, yeah, Tuesday. Holy crap, that's that's quick, guys. That is, that is next level how quick the NHL season is all of a sudden here, right? The Predators and uh, San Jose Sharks get underway in Europe today, and then all of a sudden I think there's a slate of three games on Tuesday and then the Oilers get things going on Wednesday. Uh, it's going to be exciting because Wednesday I get to drive uh, up to, uh, well not Wednesday, Tuesday night I get to drive up to Edmonton and go get ready for the Oilers home opener on Wednesday. Go troll around Ice District a little bit on Wednesday, try and get some photos, maybe run it back and get a photo with Jay the man Woodcroft. You never know. Could be something we could try and do again this time out because he was gracious enough to give us a photo last time. But uh, yeah, for the Oilers, they cut Jake Vertanen. The big thing there is he really never gave the Oilers anything to really sit there and actually chew on when it came to giving them a contract. So this one was an obvious move. We just kept waiting for it, waiting for it, waiting for it. And here it is for the Oilers yesterday announced about uh, a little bit after this time in the morning yesterday that Jake Vertanen had been released from his PTO. So apologies again if this video is a little rough. I'm feeling a little rough. I could have used about another three hours of sleep this morning. Uh, that's the problem with the Southern Alberta early mornings is they uh, get dark very quickly in October and it is very dark when I'm waking up lately so it's kind of rough but um, yeah so for the Oilers it's one of those things now you go into the last final regular season game you just got a couple of things to prove obviously too we've heard that Fogel and Sam Rukov were held out of activities yesterday don't know if that's just because they've played a lot of games in this preseason or what the case is there for the Oilers, a couple of the players there. But end of the day, if there's a trade coming, sure. If not, sure. And we just have to figure out how this Oilers roster is going to be built going into Wednesday night. I think it's pretty safe to assume who will be in the lineup on Wednesday night at this point. But there is still some question marks. Who's your 21st guy? Kind of deal all that. So for the Oilers, we look forward to seeing what today brings and seeing what happens the rest of the way home in the next five-ish days before the NHL season opens up. Folks, I'm Tyson. This is Stalin TV at 7.51. I, uh, I got to get into, uh, I got to get into the old, uh, work and get going. So I'll catch you guys later today where we'll have a much better, proper video. But folks, have yourself a great day, and I will catch you in the next one.